Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to explain about group by class. First, I am going to explain what is the purpose of group by class. It is useful to group the rows which is having same type of data in a particular column. In technical terminology, it converts detailed data into summarized data by using aggregate functions. These functions are count, sum, average, max, min. Upon completion of the conversion, group by class returns single row for each group. So let me explain with an example. Here already I have created sales table. This is the structure of sales table which consists of four columns, item, price, quantity, zone. Now I am writing the SQL syntax by considering order of declaration. First I am starting with select class. Remember while writing group by class, user should not use star. We have to mention the columns individually. So here I am considering item. Thereafter, user has to mention the aggregate function. Here I am using sum. In that, I am mentioning price column from sales. If you want, you can mention where class. Right now, I am not writing the where class. Next, I am using group by. Group by. Condition of the group by class is whatever the list of columns mentioned in select class has to match with columns mentioned in group by class. Item. Here I am selecting the query. Press F5 to execute the query. Here I am providing alias name. Here application grouped the rows and returned summarized data. Let me cross check with the input. Coming to Apple, here we can find 3 rows. 25 plus 25, 50 plus 15, total 65. It returned single row upon completion of the grouping. Likewise, application returned the output based on mentioned the aggregate function in group by class. Now let us see how to apply the group by class for multiple columns. Here I am writing zone. Press F5. Here application returns the error message as this zone column doesn't consist of either aggregate function or group by class. Hence mismatch happened with respect to provided columns between select class and group by class. Right now, I am writing zone here. Press F5. Let me cross check the input with the output. Here we have three rows for the item of apple. Coming to zone, north and east. So application grouped these two rows, apple and north equivalent to 40. Thereafter created separate row for east zone. Likewise, it is adopted the same process for the remaining rows also. Here we can find application displayed the output in ascending form. Always remember group by class returns the output in ascending form only. Here I used some function. In addition to some function, we can use remaining aggregate functions also. Right now I am using count function. Press F5. Next time I am using average function. Next time I am using max function. Next 
next i am using min function so in this way we can group the rows based on our requirement by considering the aggregate functions so this is the brief introduction about the group by class i hope this video is useful to everyone thanks for watching